Hey y'all, how's everyone doing? I'm way too zoomed out, I just noticed. Okay, well, you want to see the whole room. I'll zoom out, that's as far as I zoom. But as y'all can see, this is a double suitcase. It's a bookcase. <laughs> you can see there's lots of fun stuff going on. And it just goes on and on and on. Y'all know I'm a handbag lady. Look at my little chair I'm going to sit on and things I'm going to do. Okay, so I need to zoom in. Right? Somehow, to me, this doesn't look right. Do I look better there? There or there? There or there? I'm actually going to zoom in about there. What do you think? Okay. I have no idea. I just about broke my neck, tripping over all the cords, knocking the phone, I mean the phone, me! <laughs> so then there's me. Okay, I'm not close enough. First of all, how is everybody? Are y'all doing okay? I had this turned around. one of the best things to have. This is not a, what's it called? Corsical commercial at all. But I have to tell you, having an insulated coffee cup is important because I am constantly like setting my coffee cup down and then not getting to it till later. So I set this down probably two hours ago. It is still warm. Do y'all need warm right now? It looks like they're saying there's a polar ice condition from most of the United States. And for those of you who are suffering through that, I am so sorry. But I have to tell you, I literally just got back from a trip where we traveled to West Virginia just so we could see the snow. And two of the activities that we went for, especially the one horse open sleigh ride that is so romantic that we've always wanted to do, that's what we booked and went up there for. It got canceled, which I understand. Nobody make comments. Of course, they need to think of the animal first. And if it's that treacherous conditions, they certainly shouldn't put a horse out there in this lay in the countryside where we could all get hurt. So I'm glad they did it. We also had a um, wilderness hut um, adventure that I did for Lance's Christmas present, or one of his Christmas presents. It was a, was a experience because. Sometimes, especially as you get older, you don't necessarily want things anymore. I mean, when you first get married, you want rings and bracelets and earrings. And he wants guitars and, you know, just whatever. We've got all that. So it's like, what else do you do? Experiences is a really good thing. So when he told me we were going on this trip, I was like, I checked out the website. By the way, it's called Snow Shoe Mountain Resort. I would highly recommend it. It's like a little village. I loved it. We were in the Allegheny. Not all of it is the same. We were in the Allegheny part of it, which is more like a little village with a clock tower, y'all. I loved it. Anyway, so one of the things I did was look at the website and I saw, you know, experiences, saw that we're doing the one horse open sleigh, and there was this hut dinner. Well, the hut is a cabin in the middle of the wilderness that you ride out to in razors. They're like four wheelers with special snow um, tires. And I have to admit, the whole time I'm nervous because it says, and you will get a map. I'm like, a map in the wilderness? And we're expecting blizzard-like snow, which would cover all the trails. I'm thinking with Hansel and Gretel that, you know, if your crumb trail is gone or those trails are gone, what good's a map? So I've been worried. I thought, you know what, they'll probably be God, they'll probably be signs. They are not going to want to lose people. That would be bad press. So, I thought, just relax, trust God. But trust God and lock your car. If you do not have a good feeling about something, it's not a matter of fears. Sometimes it is smarts that you are um, right in your concerns and fears that you should be. In this case, I think it would have been fine, but the conditions got so bad, they shut that down too. So that was the second day. The one horse, one horse open sleigh was supposed to be the third day. Supposedly it got canceled. 
but we did just enjoy some time relaxing together and that was the experience right I know some of you would say yes that experience with each other having time with each other is the greatest gift and it is it is um, the one thing that we didn't get shut down which kind of scared me at first but as it went on and on I was enjoying it the problem is I felt like it was too long was snowmobiling and you snowmobile the ski slopes and I don't know if it was a safety thing or what, but they kept, I think we went around the same course, down, around, and they came back, back through different ski drops or whatever you call those slopes. But it seemed like the same thing like four different times. And after a while, not only was I getting a little bored with it, I was beginning to dread it as it got darker and darker. And I'm like, okay, my I am 63 years old. My hand strength and leaning strength was... It wasn't really wearing out, but I was afraid it would. Like, especially because I'm so short, when I would lean, I would barely be able to hold on to that other handlebar. So, I enjoyed it, though. I did have a good time. Lance had a good time. He just wanted, wished he could have been, you know, out in the wide open. It was more ski slopes. I have done countryside where um, it's a little more, what should we say? You have more elements that are not controlled in the wide open country, and that can be a problem. One guy got too close to the edge of a, a slope that had been covered by a bunch of snow, not a snow, but a ravine, and he just went boop, and all of a sudden he was gone. And we were like, what happened? About five or six of us pulled over. It was a company event, so a lot of us pulled over and went over there. He's sitting in a ditch, like this straight up and down in the, the snowmobile, which may sound funny, it wasn't. We had to help pull him out. He could have broken something, he could have suffocated in the snow. We ended up pulling him out. The snowmobile could have burnt him or whatever. Just all kind of bad things could have happened. I also am just revving along. I'm thinking, don't go too fast. And then, you know, this big wide open field in front of you. And you so I decided to just... Zzz. A big white field, you can't see depth. And all of a sudden, I'm... Boom. And I'm like, thank goodness it was only that short. There was about a five foot drop. And I just shot up in the air. That could turn into fit 10 feet just from shooting up. So it could have been really dangerous on my neck, my back. It could have, you know, lost control. So I guess I am, people say, you're a worry board. No, I've seen enough things happen that I'm like, be careful, be careful, because this could happen and other people just don't care. I'm sorry. For one thing, this keeps dribbling, so that's why I keep licking my cup. Second of all, I keep taking sips in front of you, which I know is rude because it's so warm and I need it. But anyway, okay, uh, one of the things I got, just I'll show you, is my little snowshoe. Okay, oh, I got stuff on it because I've been cleaning the house. Oh no, no, okay, I'll have to clean it. It's my snow um, snowshoe mountain uh, sweatshirt, hoodie. I do have a little hood on it. It is so warm, it is so warm. And even that, and my little, yeah, I don't know if y'all have ever seen these, but I absolutely love them. These little socks with Sherpa inside, y'all, I have four pair. Gray, dark brown, and two latte browns, like a beigey color. They're so warm just to be around your house, like when I'm working from home or just doing housework or stuff like this. So, love it. I'm also wearing today, which I will show you, a necklace that I absolutely love. I'm going to see if I can get it to focus. It never does, right? Let's see if I can make it. Come on, focus, please. Oh, you gotta. Thing is, you gotta block out everything in the background. If y'all know anything about apertures and depth with a camera, I don't know why I can't get it to stop doing that. I'll just keep yeah, backing up and backing up, backing up. Anyway, it's a cross and a heart, and it's kind of an old plastic. Um, y'all don't even think that's glass. It's probably plastic. And the little cross inside is a sticker. But y'all, it is so precious to me because I gave it to my sister. One time when I came back from visiting with my grandmother, I went to the shop and she said, you can buy anything you want, one for your your mother and one for your sister. And I bought her this cross. And I'll, or was it for Christmas? Anyway, and I remember she never wore it. And so I took it back. I was like, do you not like it? She's like, it's fine. You know, like, you don't really like it, do you? I can't get it to focus. Let's just all get back further and further and see if you can see it. Oh, you know what I give up. Okay. <sighs> Did y'all hear that little vibration? 
my phone is sitting in my little pouch. By the way, this is another one of my mini flaunt phone cases. If you're interested in me doing like a review of each of them or just showing you all the colors one at a time that go with my purses. I've got several of them around, by the way. I just got this one. I absolutely love it. It's like a, a lizard blue leather. And it actually would look really good with that one, not that one. Actually, both of them. Who knows? I'll just sit it right there like that. Okay. Uh, by doing that, I think I just switched to Russian. Hmm. Oops, no. Lat Latino? Spanish? I just switched languages on my phone from mashing it too hard. Okay, um, but we're going to sit it aside, so we'll quit buzzing me. And it's okay. I checked on who it is. It's okay. Alright, so first and foremost, I was going to talk about, well, I'm fixing to switch purses. So I'm switching from the one that I took on the trip, which is this one. And this is a Brahmin. And this is like a really nice uh, coffee topi suede with this little Sherpa fuzzy around it. It's not really Sherpa if you ask me. I feel like it's just regular teddy bear fuzz. It's a synthetic. And then of course they're pretty little Brahmin um, tag and it's got an attached um, shoulder piece and it was a perfect size for the trip. It also has a little place where I can you know, slide my phone down in there. It was the perfect size. So we're going to go over that but I am fixing to change it out. And this is where having a um, Organizer in the purse would be good, but not always because I'm going to be putting it into this one, which I thought, you know, I almost never use this purse. It's a Louis Vuitton. I actually forget the name of this. But anyway, um, it does not have a pocket on the back, which is not a, a great thing. And the it is uh, adjustable straps, and it's the beautiful chain with the leather for your shoulder so it doesn't hurt so much. So I like it, but I just almost never wear it. And so I have, um, oops, there, partially started putting stuff in it. So this is funny. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you what was in there that I've just started putting in here, which makes no sense. First of all, I think this, I always have a cord and um, a plug for my phone. And this is this little red thing. You wrap the cord around it and it snaps on there so your cord isn't all over the place and you're or getting tangled up, which I love. And I got this from um, Levenger and I highly